interesting to note, isn't it, that even at that, you know, shall we say grand old age, our wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, could seemingly just put people down with withering looks, words, and of course, famous recollections may vary. Who could forget that? But this particular statement, which was fed back to the former royal known as Meghan Markle, truly angered her. And this was directly from our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. So what exactly did the Queen say that made Meghan see red? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. And as ever, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you also for your kind comments about the brilliant late singer, entertainer, superstar that is of course Frankie Vaughan what a story I mean you know as I say we spent a lot of time together and I went to see him in fact a few years later when I was back in the biz as it were after leaving hotels and um, yeah he was in 42nd Street and we went there for the rehearsals he was just a really nice guy you know when you meet people and they live up to the expectation he was definitely one of them absolutely what a star check him out if you have the time back as ever though to your breaking roll story of the day this really all centres upon the fact that now, as we know, as we said many times, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry thought they were really creating a bomb when they decided to sit down with the television host, Oprah Winfrey. Not more of a bomb, more of a damp squib, really, wasn't it? Because obviously Oprah had uh, rehearsed many things, you know, the what and all of that sort of stuff. We all knew it was fake. That's exactly what Oprah does, you know. She's made a billion dollar fortune on the misery of many people. I never really forgave her for sitting down with Michael Jackson. He didn't come out of that well, a little bit better than Martin Bashir. But the bottom line was, it's normally all about Oprah. That's clearly why Meghan and her got on so well, and she got an invite to the wedding. Interesting to note as well, though, that when Oprah Winfrey did turn up at the royal wedding of Harry and Meghan, she tried her very best to ingratiate herself within uh, the highest uh, circles of the senior monarchy. They weren't having it, you know. She, they knew exactly what Oprah was going to do. But it was this particular statement which allegedly can be attributed to our late and wonderful monarch, Her Majesty the Queen. Apparently, after viewing or hearing about or seeing snippets of that now infamous interview with Oprah Winfrey, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, she just, you know, basically classed it as nonsense. Nonsense television. Now, when you think about it, she's correct. Because really, you know, while we remember it and they said some horrendous damaging things to the monarchy, you know, the Queen had been around a long time. She knew exactly that people forgave, forget and move on. Not necessarily forgive, but simply do move on. And of course, then highlighted the fact that, in fact, the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, had also sat down with Oprah Winfrey. And that really hadn't gone anywhere either, had it? So you could understand that she felt, well, this will be going nowhere either. But more importantly, it's interesting to note that Meghan and Harry themselves felt that this was going to make the royals sit up in particular the Queen. And that was one of the topics that Harry really feared about returning back to see our late monarch. If you recall, he whipped in to see the monarch on his way back from the Invictus Games. And then they weren't in there that long, about 10 minutes, and then off they trotted. Because that's exactly what the monarch was good at. You know, she would listen, sympathize, move on. She'd seen it all before. But according to that good source, it was Meghan Markle that felt that, well, if this didn't make them sit up, what simply would? And more importantly, you know, the bottom line is they had hoped that this was going to change the trajectory of the way that they were looked at within the British monarchy and finally, hopefully, respected. But once again, as I say at the very start of this video, the Queen did an excellent job. Recollections may vary, television nonsense. Well, really, is there any comeback to that? And more importantly, has Meghan Markle and Prince Harry been fighting back on these statements ever since? Seemingly so. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.